We're in the World War I section of the museum and we're just looking at some of the gas masks from World War I. So you have basically bag gas masks and pea bag gas masks and you have the American gas masks uh, that one there is dated in 1917. Uh, my favourite one and the one I'm going to talk about today is actually the German one here. Um, I like it the best for a couple of reasons. It's um, basically the Germans were the first to use charcoal. So the filter in here was charcoal. And the Americans and the British and, and, and the French captured uh, German gas masks and they actually started to use charcoal as a filter in their gas masks. And that's where the, the filter was. Uh, the second reason I like this one here, it looks like actually a modern day gas mask. This, this gas mask you're looking at here is actually 104 years old. Um, and if you look closely in at the glass, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's a little wire mesh the whole way around it here on the inside. And the idea of this is this was for artillery. And when the artillery were firing their guns, that the percussion uh, didn't pop out the glass or pop the glass in um, when, the, when they were firing. Um, the other reason I like this gas mask, it's very unusual. This one's actually made from leather, and the leather that they used was actually dog skin, not cow, not horse, not calf skin, not um, a do a donkey or, or, or sheep. And the reason they used dog skin was because dogs don't sweat. So horses, goats, sheep all sweat, but dogs don't sweat. So you'll get about 10 gas masks out of an Alsatian, you get 12 out of a St. Bernard. 